Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to adjust the breakpoints. A breakpoint is when one activity stops and the next activity ends. And you can see here in the background that for each observation I make, I have the total time elapsed here in the seconds, the start time and the stop time. And since this is a contiguous uh, ob uh, observation here, you see 5.215 is the stop time of this first activity. It's the start time of the next activity. Same with this, the stop time here, 9.911, is the start time of the next activity. So I'm going to record the next three activities. I'm going to make some deliberate mistakes here. So I'm going to click on the recording now. And this is our buff sides. And I'm going to let it run past the natural breakpoint. So he pulls away, now he's on to the buff bottom. I stop it there, so I've got a mistake there. But I'm just going to call it buff sides here. And I'm going to save it. So I've got an observation for that. And now I'm going to do the continue the buff bottom. So I click here. I'm going to stop it right there. Save buff bottom. And I save it. Now I didn't realize that this guy is going to come back and finish off again there. So you see him coming back into the picture here. So I didn't quite get the right one there. Now he gets the next part. And he brings it back. We stop it right there. That's my aside and get next. Okay. So each of these observations, the, the, the element observation 4, 5 and 6 has got wrong breakpoints. Right? Notice here I've got the same same uh, pattern happening. The start time and the stop time. So the stop time of one activity is the start time of the next activity. So I highlight my first buff sides and what I do is I click on this little icon right here. If I hover over you'll see it's called the breakpoint adjustment icon. And I click on it and the screen comes up here. And you can see here what I have here. You can see I've got a slider here. It goes from 13.405 to 24.150. So actually it's showing me that whole time period in here. Right? And it's actually sitting on the breakpoint. And if I play the breakpoint here, you'll see I'm actually too far down. So I want to bring it back a little bit to where he's doing the the, the uh, sides here. So I'm going to play it here. And I'm going to spot where he pulls away. Right there he pulls away. So you can see my real breakpoint. In the background, you can see my breakpoint was 21.373 right here. But my actual breakpoint is actually closer to 19.9. .9. So I've found a new breakpoint. And what I do is I set it here. Right? And that sets the stop time of one and the start time of the next. And then I say apply the changes. Now when I click on apply changes, this 19.949 is going to appear in the stop time of my buff sides and the start time of my buff bottom. I'll apply the changes now. And there you can see it, just like I said. Stop time is now 19.949, and the start time is here. Now, we've got the same issue down here, so we'll highlight this guy here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on my breakpoint adjustment. And uh, if I remember right, this, my breakpoint was too early here. So you can see the guy comes back in and pulls away right there. So I can simply just watch it once, set the new breakpoint. You can see the old one was 24.15. Right, and it's now going to be set to 26.074. I set it, and then I apply the changes, and it's updated this. So it gives you a very, very easy way to change the breakpoints if you make an error in your observations.